Meantime, Meg Terrell is at HQ with all the latest on the coronavirus. Good morning, Meg. Good morning, Carl. With the virus now reaching at least 105 countries and territories, infecting more than 115,000 and killing more than 4,000, the World Health Organization saying the threat of a pandemic has become very real. But it also said it would be the first pandemic in history that could be controlled. Director General Dr. Tedros noting the actions of governments, businesses, communities, and individuals can make a difference. And we are seeing more stark actions being taken around the globe. In Italy, now the hardest hit country outside China, a locked extended to all of its 60 million citizens. Some epidemiologists warning the U.S. is not taking the virus seriously enough. The University of Minnesota's Dr. Mike Osterholm said on Squawk Box this morning the country is responding as if the virus is a, quote, D.C. blizzard that'll pass in a few days. He told me afterwards this morning he thinks, in fact, we're entering a coronavirus winter and we're only in the first weeks. The CDC yesterday stepping up its warnings, particularly to high-risk groups, older people and those with underlying health conditions. Dr. Nancy Massonier warning... It's likely many here will be exposed to the virus either this year or next. And those in higher risk groups in particular should make sure they're stocked up on medications, household items and groceries, and that they should take precautions. Meanwhile, Vice President Mike Pence plans to meet with executives in the health insurance industry today. Many have said they'll waive copays for coronavirus testing and are expanding access to telemedicine. Guys. Meg. Um... I don't know what your experience is, but I'm finding very different uh, adoptions of behaviors between people. Some take this very seriously and listen to what you're reporting and the like and the potential that this will be with us for a long time and are changing behaviors. And others, many others, smart people I know, are choosing a very different path. Um, what are the what are you know, what can you tell them in terms of how they should behaving based on the reporting you're doing and talking to many of these people who are following this thing so closely? It's a really important question, David. And of course, there is a cohort of people who say this is just the flu. Well, A, if it uh, was just another flu, that would be bad on its own. But there are many reasons uh, that people are saying this is potentially worse than the flu. It is potentially more contagious than the flu, uh, more deadly than the flu. Though the flu does infect more people uh, as of right now, therefore the number of deaths is higher. Uh, the percentage of deaths with COVID-19 are currently a lot higher uh, than for the flu. I've been encouraged to hear a lot of older people, people in my life, my parents, my, uh, my in-laws, uh, taking precautions. They're all over 60. Uh, those are the groups that the CDC is speaking directly to, and those with underlying health conditions uh, should be very cautious.